while the crew is resting in the quarters, the spaceship is still being prepared for the launch at the assembly and testing facility. The spacecraft itself is being delivered to Baikonur a couple of months before the launch. Spacesuits are delivered beforehand as well to carve out some time for error checking and corrections. Starting readings, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left chair operator rates, connection quality is stable. There is an emergency headset on board. The crew probably won't be needing it, but everything must be checked. After connection tests, all medical hardware is coming up for check. During the mission, different kinds of sensors and devices send intel about astronauts' condition from the ISS to the MCC. At the end of the day, the engineers conclude no errors, everything is in normal condition. Everything here is planned, down to the last minute. Tomorrow we have to finish lining up all the video equipment and special devices in the capsule. The day after tomorrow, we will fill the gas mixture supply system with oxygen. Well, from then on, our facility puts everything in order for the crew pre-launch training. During the first fit check, mission commander and onboard engineers study the Soyuz onboard documentation and test communication and navigation sets. Also, they check contents of the equipment and cargo they are about to deliver to the station. If something is wrong, it gets fixed. It can be okay for anyone, but not for me. The more you sweat in training, the less you bleed in war. Meanwhile, the spaceship preparations are still in process. After being filled up with fuel and pressured gas, Soyuz keeps waiting for more final actions. A week before the liftoff, specialists from the rocket corporation Energia and space center Yuzhny carry out a thorough inspection of the craft and install the nose cone. In order to do this, Soyuz is being put on its side. Everything is being measured and checked according to blueprints and setups. Only after that, the final procedure occurs. Petrovich, all ready? Ready, let's go. That's how the spaceship will go through the final fit check. The crew members check if their remarks were sufficiently answered. Gennady Padalka, Mikhail Kornienko, and Scott Kelly approve the spaceship condition. Next time, they will see the ship only at the launch pad. The forthcoming stage of the pre-launch prep is the final assembly of the rocket and the Soyuz. The ascent unit, the emergency escape system, and three other stages become a united body. After all these procedures, the National Commission decides if the carrier rocket is ready to be transferred to the launch pad. Time of the transport depends on the time of the liftoff, but nearly always it happens at the crack of dawn. Quite possibly, it's for the looks. The process of transport is traditionally being watched by a numerous audience of journalists, special guests, and the maintenance crew. Public order is being kept by the police forces and the Cosmodrome security. Allowed movement, speed around, and launch pad is three miles per hour. The time of cosmic speed rates hasn't come yet, 
cargo with supplies must be delivered safe and sound. More than 500 people work hard to provide the liftoff. All the necessary preparations are being carried out in one day. However, according to the rules, the service crew always have a spare day for emergencies. The flight crew spends this extra day at the quarters. They can't arrive at the launch pad early and have to communicate with the outer world through the glass because of the observation procedure. On behalf of the people gathered here, I wish you a good liftoff and best of luck. National Commission Chairman, sir, the site is TMA, 16M crew reporting in for the mission. Mission Commander Gennady Padalka. Good luck. Prepare for liftoff. Prepare for liftoff. Standing by. Good luck. Good luck. Bye. Woo! Take care, my friend. Take care. Arrived at the launch pad, the mission commander is reporting in once more. Roscosmos Commander, sir, the Soyuz TMA 16M crew reporting in and ready for liftoff and the mission. Final memento photos are taken and the crew is heading for the rocket. All right, here we go. The crew gets in the special elevator and goes up to the ship exactly 122 minutes before the start. Everything is ready for liftoff. Unit 53, are you watching me? Yeah, quality is good. What camera are you looking at? Oh, the one in front of you. The crew members check all the systems and the leak integrity of their suits. Medical stuff control physical condition of the crew in real time. These two hours are the most dramatic. Psychological support tries to make the crew relax by turning on some music. The atmosphere on the launch pad is not so relaxing. Every service here is in full readiness. Launch specialists took their places in special bunkers long ago. It's time for the final countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Lift off, fire engines, onboard power. Roger, ready to start. Ignition. Oxygen, ignition preliminary. Lift off confirmed. Here we go. ISS mission to ever have started. A little more than nine minutes and Soyuz will be in outer space. Roger, JK-3, congratulations on successful injection. Switching controls to the Moscow Mission Control Center. Onboard zero gravity indicator starts floating around. The crew now has six hours of flight to the ISS ahead.